Hello, everyone. My name is Christian Mayoris, and I'm on the Product Acceleration team for Okta Identity Governance. And welcome to another exciting video about governance. Today, we're going to demonstrate a new feature called Governance for Admin Roles. This feature initially will be available for all OIG customers, but then expand to the existing customer base. To enable it, we need to log in as administrator. Let's go do it. So first step, once I enable, uh, log into my Okta tenant as administrator, I'm going to go to the Settings, Features, Submenu. You'll notice down below in the Govern for Okta Admin Roles feature is there. You just need to enable it. Once enabled, you'll then proceed to the Security Administrators submenu. One of the things you'll notice now that's new is a new submenu called Governance. Now, when I do click this, the first step I have to acknowledge is a security and sub-processor update. Once I acknowledge that, I can continue on and create access requests for admin roles. In order to do that, the first step you need to do is create what we call admin role bundles. So once that's selected, we create a bundle. I'm going to create a bundle called super admin role. I'm going to say bundle, bundle with super admin role. And then I'm going to select the super admin role from Okta and say create. I'm also going to create another bundle related to an application administrator just to show you how it works. So this one I'll say bundle application admin. Let's say um, service now, service now application admin bundle. And we'll pick the application admin role. We'll select service now in my available applications and hit create. Again, very simple to create and manage. Once those have been created, I now can jump over to the access request part of this flow. And so here I'm gonna create what's called a condition. So this condition, I'll call the super admin role condition is going to be restricted to an audience. So I'm using a group here as the audience. So we can say that only these users have the ability to go request access to a time bound uh, admin role. We'll click uh, Super Admin Requesters Group. We'll pick the bundle that we just created. So we'll say Bundle Super Admin. And then we're going to uh, set the duration. Your available options are weeks, days, and hours. So you can pick whatever one. I'll pick the default, which is two hours. And then I'm going to pick a sequence. Now, a sequence is the series of steps that you're going to go through to approve and request approval and approve and maybe answer questions. I've built out a bunch of example ones, but I'm gonna go create a brand new one for this use case. So let's create a sequence. In here, the sequence is triggered by a user requesting any one of these admin role interface uh, resources. Um, by default, any request for an admin role and a time bound feature will require two approvals. So in here, what I've done is set up two other users that we're going to do approvals. In this case, I'll be the manager. I'll act as the manager. I'm already set up that way. And then I'll use the group owner of a group. So I'm going to pick my group and pick the super admin requesters group and then deliver. You'll notice these are the steps I'm going to go through. I'm actually going to add a justification step in here as well. So let's go for the question and for the requester and say, why do you need this level of access. That way we're capturing that data in the request as part of the um, as part of the audit trail. So let's save that and we're gonna hit save. I'm gonna call this super admin sequence. And these remember are reusable. Click save. Once it's been saved, we'll go back over here and we'll refresh. We'll see this new super admin uh, sequence available. So I'm gonna select it. And say select sequence. Now you'll see this condition that I was building out now has reference to that super admin reusable sequence. It's already done. So now once I hit create, by default, what will happen is we'll create this condition and it'll be disabled. So I have the ability to view it and delete it. I can also go and enable it. And that's what I'm going to do now. Once it's enabled, any users that are part of that group will now have the ability to request this bundle. So we're actually going to jump over as one of my users. So this is going to be Steve Morgan. Steve Morgan, when he logs in, I'll refresh. You'll notice that Steve is not an administrator, doesn't have any admin rights. But Steve needs rights because he's just joined a new team. Let's go request this access. As part of the new cataloging experience, you will see um, 
the screen pop up and you'll see the Okta Admin Console now requestable. So once you click on it, any of those request types that have been built out and shared with that user, those would be visible here now. So in this case, uh, they need that super admin role and uh, Steve can put in his reason. I need it to manage some users. Let's hit submit. Once that submit occurs, the first level reviewer will get an email notification. That one happens to be me as well. So I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna jump over to Okta Identity Governance. I would normally hit a, uh, get an email and I could click the links there. Or if I'm already know it's coming, I could go in here and just go right directly to the access request tool and go to the inbox. So I'm gonna see this one. Again, it's Steve Morgan, two hour super admin sequence. Let's click it. Me being the requester's manager or that role, Currently, I'll do the approval. You can see some additional information. You know it's coming from the admin console. Let's go approve. Now, this one is actually getting routed to a the group owner of that group. So waiting here, I, you can visibly see it. I'm going to jump out as that user as well. So in the background, we'll see here. This is Daryl. Daryl happens to be listed as the owner of that group. Daryl will get notified again also through email, but can also just jump there directly. So I'll go here to the request. We'll see this new one. Steve Morgan just came in 18 seconds ago. You can see that Christian Mayer has approved it and now I'm the second level approver. Let's approve this. And then once I approve, go back over here as Steve Morgan, go back over the app section. If now, if I refresh, it takes a second to happen. Steve will have that admin access pop up. Yeah, go through the steps. There it is. Now Steve can log in and go do that administrative work for the users. The other thing to keep in mind is because Steve has requested this, this also means that if I want to go run an access certification campaign, I can run a campaign or UAR against any users in the admin console that have access and we can have those approvals or revocation. Especially useful if you're giving somebody or granting somebody access for more than a short period of time, you may want to run those on a regular basis, maybe weekly, monthly, um, and do those uh, access reviews. All right. I hope that was helpful um, and happy governing.